Hi, this is Rick Sparber, and I'd like to demonstrate this uh, different kind of continuity checker. This is a type of electronic edge finder, and it's very sensitive to uh, resistances that are almost a dead short. The way I'm going to use it here is, first of all, I have these probes, and there's a magnet inside the probe. It's just a piece of, it's just one of these... Uh, spade lugs just modify with a magnet. So I want to connect between the vise, so I just throw it down and the magnet sticks. And then I have a second probe here and I'm going to put that on the spindle as you can see here. And when I do that it's going to make um, a rather annoying beeping sound. And you also see here a bright white light, and then when the tone gets louder, it turns red. Right now it's white, so that's fine. And I lower the spindle down like that. And as I move the cable in, you can see that it turns, turns to red, and I get the louder volume. That's my touchdown. Now I'm relying on the oil in the bearings to be my insulator. So if there's not enough oil, then it'll indicate touchdown when it isn't. It's usually pretty obvious because you're not near it. You just rotate the spindle just a few degrees and I get back my insulation. So you can see as I move close, get to touchdown, there's my zero set point. So I adjust my dial, back out come in again, verify that I'm at touchdown and again you see the the red light so I'll see if I can show both at the same time there's the white so if you can't stand the tone or you're going to be in a noisy environment then the light alone can get the job done but it's nice having the tone because that way you can keep both eyes on the dial. So once you, you've done your touchdown, then it's a simple matter to, to simply remove the edge finder. And you've now established your zero without having any special edge finder. There's, there's no insulation involved here. And... Uh, any cylinder will work, so if you're using a, here's my quarter inch end mill that's going to fit up in that collet, and uh, all I need to do is remove the quarter inch rod, install the quarter inch end mill, and I'm ready to go. If I had a 5 8 inch end mill, I just get a piece of 5 8 inch drill rod. Uh, so it's quicker than having to put in any special edge finder it's also much cheaper uh, and it's just as accurate the one thing that you have to do with any of these edge finders is keep the surfaces clean so I have here a spray bottle of alcohol and I clean all contact surfaces and then wipe them dry uh, because if you've got a piece of swarf that's a few thou in diameter then you can't expect to have accuracy better than that uh, this electronic edge finder works fine. It was developed for the lathe and it works very well there for, for my lathe. Um, but as you see it works fine on the end mill too. And it's uh, really not that hard to build. The circuit is insensitive to battery voltage. There's no adjustments. Um, you just hook it up and it powers up by itself when you connect it. And if you forget to disconnect it and power it down then you're going to be stuck with that tone in your ear and the red light which is another reason why I like to keep the tone as a reminder that I'm eating batteries uh, but when it's not connected to anything there's no off switch it just turns off completely there's no residual uh, drain on the battery so I hope you like that and details are on my website rick.sparber.org uh, and if you look in the machining area uh, for lathe attachments, you'll find details. There's also an article about mill 
attachments that will explain what I showed here and point you back over to the lathe attachment. So I hope you like that and uh, find some value in it. Thank you.